decided to do a general um, Love Oracle card reading. Sample and burning. Crystals. And for today's reading, what I'm going to have you do is pick one of the five crystals that you feel most connected with. Um, the one that most corresponds to you. And I'm going to do a reading based off of what you chose. Here to the five stones. And I'm just going to pause here and let you choose which stone most corresponds to you. Alright, so here are the cards that correspond to the first stone, if you chose that one. Um, and with this, it's very general, again. Um, it can be in relation to your current relationship state. It can be, um, you know, someone you're thinking about, whether there is a future love with them, um, a crush, or someone special to you. So, see what the first card is passion. Card number two, insecurity. Card number three, creation. And lastly, forgiveness. Card number one, passion, is a general glimpse into your near future. Words here are passion, bravery, and loyalty. Key ideas, follow your passion, be authentic, take a stand for yourself, be acknowledged. You may feel ostracized by family, friends, be emotionally centered. You have a strong feminine energy, and your future has a happy outcome. Some inspiration. You are correct to feel passionate with your, about your position. Follow your instincts, for you know intuitively what is right for you. Learn to go after it. This is a sign to go after them. Go after what you want. Um, if it's a current relationship, you have passion with your lover. Maybe you need to be brave in that relationship. Card number two is insecurity. And this correlates with how to prepare yourself for what is to come. Then bravery, again, and success. Personal inquiry. Do you listen to your fear? How can you tap into your courage? So the two cards here are really telling you to go after something, something you have been fearful of, conquer insecurity, and obtain your passion. Key ideas, be courageous. When facing adversity, find tremendous power within. And don't undervalue your contribution. Miraculous changes lie ahead. Life always takes turn for the better when we face our demons. Stay on course. Trust that an ally will appear. The gift of adversity is never given without the ability to overcome it. Is a positive omen to look for. Creation. Amuse and magic. Key ideas. Be open to magic. Lasting transformation. The divine feminine. Awaken your creativity. Find your muse and own your gifts. Personal inquiry. Are you waiting for someone's permission to create your life? What do you need in order to claim your own gifts? Inspiration. Your path is artistic one. Express your love in a tangible art form. It is time to make decisions. The fourth card, forgiveness. A negative omen to avoid. Keywords, belonging, self-forgiveness, and fulfillment. Key ideas, wishes fulfilled, holding on to dreams, past wounding. Personal inquiry. It may be a time of family healing. Can you forgive yourself for loving people who hurt you? The Domination Crystal. I will turn over the cards and read to you what your love life holds. First card. Vanity. Second card. Recovery. Third card. Impartiality. And fourth card. Workaholic. Card number one. A general glimpse into the near future. The Vanity card. Faith, awareness, and transformation. Key ideas. Environmental tension, living in illusion, self-doubt, power to change, lesser companions, and empty conversations. Personal inquiry. Are you feeling disconnected from any people in your life? 
Are you going away from relationships? Are your relationships limited? Inspiration. We all say we will stop when we have had enough, but there's never enough. Are you going away from limiting relationships? This signifies there could be a change in your future. If you currently are in a relationship, so your current relationship is not in a good place. If you're single, it can signify that you're currently feeling empty and unhappy with yourself. Just how to prepare yourself for what's to come. This is the recovery card. Keywords, assistance, courtesy, and support. Key ID, ideas, chasing illusions, health matters, compulsive behavior, dietary imbalance, being result oriented, self neglect, and honoring values. Personal inquiry. You take with you wherever you go. Is there a part of your life that may be out of alignment with who you are? Inspiration. Running towards something may chase it away. Be wary of being deceived by your own desires. A positive omen to look forward to. Impartiality. Keywords. Guide. Open-minded and fairness. Key ideas. Neutral position. Allowing things to unfold, standing in another's shoes. Uplifted communication. Personal inquiry. If you step back from your present situation, what do you see? Can you be neutral? Inspiration. Take an impartial look at your situation. The action here is to listen and observe. The omen to look for. Workaholic. Keywords. Talent, fun, and friends. Key ideas. Feelings of inadequ inadequacy. Transformation indicated. Not being fulfilled by work. Heeding warnings. Refreshing your mind to improve your work. Are you working too much and suffering from burnout? Is there something important that you're avoiding doing? Are you waiting to complete your career before you live your life? Busy work may be helping you hide from the real issue. Now, right, if you chose the third crystal, I will go ahead and do a reading. Cover the cards. First card, destiny. Second card, grief. Third card, sacred. Fourth card, Guys, glimpse into your future, and your future holds destiny. Keywords, love, pathway, and faith. Key ideas, true love, taking a stand, positive omen, radical thinking, deep satisfaction, and ability to change. Personal inquiry, what tools do you need to form your own destiny? Are you ready for your destiny? Inspiration, take a risk. Dare to have your life the way you decide. Are you willing to make sacrifices to have what you desire? Okay. Try to prepare yourself for what is to come. Grief. Keywords. Love, commitment, and vulnerability. Key ideas. Feeling grief. Feeling process. Missing someone or something. Being unafraid of sadness as love is on the horizon. Is lingering grief preventing you from progress? What can you see in your heart? Heal, you can heal. Give yourself some time, you will love again. If you honor your pain, it will change your life. Omen to look for. Keywords, recovery, integra integration, and play. Disassociating from yourself, reclaiming your life, and healing childhood pain. Bronze God is about reclaiming life. What have you done to heal your childhood pain? If you are unhappy in your relationships, you may be relating to others through a false sense of duty. Give up being someone you're not. Overcome. Guilt. Keywords. Awareness, awakening, and release. Self-care. Burdened by obligations. Enabling others. And finding personal power. Are you giving away too much of your time and energy and resenting it? Is your anger really guilt? Do not do for others what they do what they need to do for themselves. Speak truth from your heart. Honesty is freedom. Any guilt is fear of being disliked. Now I will go ahead and do the next reading. You chose this crystal. First card, miracle. Second card, joy. 
Third card, gratitude. Fourth card, bittersweet. General glimpse into your future of love, miracle. Keywords, integrity, gifts, reward. Key ideas, being a light, lighting the way for others, coming miracles. Personal inquiry, the essence of inspiration is integrity. Can you be counted on? Do you let someone in or do you pretend not to see them? You cannot shut out pain without shutting out pleasure. Kindness exists to lend magic to integrity. How to prepare yourself for what is to come. Joy. Keywords. Playfulness and delight. Key ideas. Conduit of joy. Detached from, detached from joy. Higher purpose. Profoundly impacting lives. Improved health. Or a birth. Personal inquiry. What can you do to invite happiness into your life? Being present is not the same as truly experiencing something. Inspiration. Dance and Daisy represents a new joyous phase in life and a significant change, such as a move, a new job, or a marriage. This is the moment after the leap. You may not see where you are going, but you will land on your feet. Positive almond to look out for. Gratitude. Keywords. Appreciation, recognition, and esteem. Key ideas. Friendship, deep, deep love, pregnancy, nurturing unconditional, love towards self or others. Who is the person you admire most? Why? How can you live at that level? Inspiration. Gratitude raises our vibration to a higher level. If you are unhappy in any relationship, Lucy reminds you that it is always in your power to change it. There is no mystery to being a good person. Good people just do good things. A negative element to avoid. Better sweet. Keywords. Pregnancy, release, maturity. Hidden blessings. Celebration tempered by sadness. Protecting someone, ability to honor others, and new horizons. Parents often make difficult decisions not supported by their children. Can you see the strength in the choices of others? The passing of all things is inevitable. Whatever is happening may require release. This card could also represent unexpected news. Quartz. I will go ahead and turn over the cards now. First card, service. Second card, abundance. Third card, gossip. Fourth card, rejection. A general glimpse into the near future. Service. Keywords, compassion, loyalty, and strength. Favoritism, unwillingness to co compromise values, finding contentment, the joy of service, service, or precious memories. How does the idea of service inspire you? How can you make the most of your present situation? What can you give? Are you seeing your life as it really is? But we may wish things to be different. Often, we create just what we need. This is an opportunity to look at where you are today. Give up what you think you deserve and start being of service. Prepare yourself for what is to come. Abundance. Keywords. Friendship, wisdom, and fun. Abundance through gratitude, releasing your breath. Be wary of using your financial situation as an excuse to avoid doing something. Are your thoughts and actions around money empowering or disempowering you? Think about your relationship with money. Are you the wise girl or the foolhardy man? Money is naturally attracted toward appreciation and gratitude. Positive omen to look out for. Gossip. Keywords. Freedom, dance, and honor. Uniqueness of others. Naivety. Support for your vision. Lack of appreciation. Refocusing your life. Charmaine is about prejudice and misunderstanding. What are you resisting? Charmaine Chartreuse suggests that appreciating difference is key. This card is a warning that you may lose a valued relationship if you do not appreciate what you have. Positive omen to avoid. Rejection. Protection, exclusion, and development. Others' approval and supportive environment, working alone, arrival as a teacher. Are you working with or against your environment? What is the purpose of your present solitude? You don't have to be on the inside track. Be true to yourself and you will not be unhappy. Rejection is fierce protection. Don't let rejection stop you from doing what you need to do to receive love in your future. I hope you enjoyed this love reading.